Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sarah Braxton and I am all about the grocery hauls every single week, guys. If that sounds good to you, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. And yeah, guys, today I'm going to a local store here in Virginia called Martin's Grocery Store. And they are part of the Giant Food Company brand. So anyways, that is the grocery haul I'm doing today. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am having a very interesting day. It is the last day of homeschool for my kindergartner. And I've also been doing a little bit of preschool with my four-year-old. So yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. Because of COVID, I got to homeschool them for a year and I never thought I would homeschool my kids. So it was really fun to get to do. And I'm just so thankful for the time I had with them. And then they'll be going to public school in the fall, most likely. So it was bittersweet and I'm kind of emotional. Anyways, um, so that's how my day is going and I hope you are doing well. So anyways, let's just get in to this week's grocery haul. Okay guys, I just got back from Martin's. So we're just gonna get into this haul. Let's do this. So I got some 2% milk and then I'm gonna be making some fried chicken wings. So I got some buttermilk to soak my chicken in and then some Philadelphia cream cheese just to have on hand because Aldi does not have the Philadelphia and I actually really like Philadelphia. And then some Earth Balance and then some sharp cheddar cheese, some sour cream. I'm gonna be making taco soup tonight. So I got some of that for the top of the soup. I got some thin sliced Dave's Killer Bread. This is the sprouted kind. And we're gonna try to switch over to sprouted bread and see how that goes. I already eat sprouted bread, but um, I wanna see if the rest of my family can switch over to it just because it is a healthier option for bread. And then I got two dozen eggs. And then guys, so whoever picked out my groceries, it is literally making me not wanna like do grocery pickup anymore because this has happened a couple times. Some of my produce is just like thrown in a bag and my tomatoes are moldy. This is what you get for doing grocery pickup though. And I am thankful for the option, but I am like getting to the point where I might just go start going back into the store. So I got a green bell pepper. I got two jalapenos for I was going to make some homemade guacamole and then I got some tomatoes which are rotten. All three of them are rotten which is so sad um, and they were just thrown in the bag like I don't understand but that's okay it was probably like a 15 year old picking out my groceries. <laughs> so um, I got some limes. I also picked up a white onion, English cucumber and then guys this cilantro was literally thrown in the bag with raw chicken. I just don't even know guys, this was such a bad experience. Anyways, so that was thrown in there. <laughs> and then I got some classic romaine and that is all dirty because this is so dirty. So that is that. And then I got two things of strawberries because they were having a buy one get one free. Some Johnson Phil breakfast sausage, some bananas, these are the organic bananas and some Hormel pepperoni. I got the mini ones. These are kind of fun if you're making like homemade Lunchables just to have as one of the options. My girls like those. And some Canadian bacon. My little one, she wanted some four cheese ravioli. So I got her some of that. Probably make that for lunch one day for her. And some Tostitos. Um, and then I got some Doritos because those were like only $1.99. It was like a sale. Shin ramen noodle soup. This is our favorite ramen. If you've seen my grocery hauls, you've seen that before. And then I got some taco seasoning. I got McCormick taco seasoning and sometimes they're out of this. So I did get like a backup just in case for taco soup. Um, and I actually might use this one instead. This is the Simply Organic Southwest Taco. And this is a really good one. And then some goldfish for my little ones. And I like the baby ones just because they're small. Some cheese and garlic croutons. 
And then to go with taco soup, taco night, um, I got the Haritos, mandarin and pineapple. Those are really good. And some wild caught albacore and tuna. I got two of those. And then the, most of this is for taco soup. It takes a can of black beans, some diced tomatoes, the petite diced tomatoes so that they're not huge. And I think they gave me an extra can of black beans because I only ordered one. And then some tomato sauce and some no salt added whole plum tomatoes. Um, I got some pineapple tidbits just to have in the pantry. Some tea, the Celestial Seasonings Fruit Tea Sampler. I just like to have this because it has like five different teas in it. And it's just kind of nice. That way you don't get sick of one. And then back here, the fun pack from Kellogg's. And this is a, their variety pack of cereal. That's just kind of fun as well. I never buy that. It's not the most cost effective thing, but it's kind of fun to have if you don't want to just have one type of cereal. Um, I also picked up some honey barbecue sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. This is really, really good. Definitely recommend that sauce. If you're looking for like a good barbecue, this is definitely it, guys. This is like a honey barbecue. It's so, so good. And then I got some pasta sauce for the ravioli. We needed ketchup, got some of that. Some super sweet corn, I, that is for taco soup. And then we wanted to try out some Gordon's beer battered shrimp. We've never tried these out. And then some Gordon's fish sticks. We've never tried these out either. So hopefully those are good. Back here, some Wesson vegetable oil for the chicken. These are my chicken wings. This is just a really like sad Martin's order because one of these packages is open. I think it's the top one. It's like ripped. So I'm gonna have to get my money back on that. And there was a whole bunch of dirt on that cilantro and the cilantro was on top of this. Some state fair 100% beef corn dogs just to have on the hand in the deep freezer. I'm gonna be making energy balls so I picked up a lot of things for that. They take like a lot of peanut butter so I got another thing of peanut butter just to make sure we don't run out. And the recipe called for like dark chocolate chips but I got semi-sweet mini chocolate chips because I thought that'd be really good. I got some flour, I needed that for chicken. And then for the energy bite or balls, whatever you wanna call them, I got the Bob's Red Mill Old Fashioned Rolled Oats and the Bob's Red Mill Golden Flaxseed Meal. And that is gonna be so good. I'm so excited to try this energy ball recipe. I will be sharing that on my Instagram on Friday. I am a partner with Teamy Blends, so that's gonna be on Friday. Follow me on Instagram, at Sarah Braxton, and you'll see my energy balls that I am making. And then, um, I, about a couple weeks ago, I was going to make these donuts with canned biscuit dough, these maple bars, and I couldn't find maple extract anywhere, so I was like, oh, I'll just get maple syrup, and then I found out that you can't use maple syrup because it's not the same type of flavor. So anyways, long story short, I finally found maple extract to make my maple bars. So I'm so excited about that. Hopefully I get those done this weekend. I have been putting that off because I wanted to find maple extract. So that's gonna be fun. And then I grew up drinking this sometimes, which it was like a treat, but this is the best apple juice ever. And I have not had it in a long time. This is the Martinelli's gold medal apple juice and I just love the glass jar it comes in. It's so fancy and beautiful. So I got one of those. I want my girls to try it out, see if they like it. It's just like a nostalgic thing for me. And then I got some builder bars. I usually get the chocolate peanut butter but they subbed the peanut butter crunch which I've never tried that flavor. And for my daughters, I got them some Honest Kids juice. I never buy them like juice boxes hardly ever but this is just fun and it's their last day of school today so I got them some juice boxes or juice pouches and these just look really good that looks like a really good flavor and last but not least are these Hawaiian 3-in-1 clean towelettes makeup removing wipes I've never tried these out they subbed these ones for a charcoal one that I wanted so hopefully those are good anyways that is my grocery haul guys I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, I would love for you to join it. Hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. And like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, 
My name is at Sarah Braxton. Go follow me over there. I love to post just like everyday life and I'm always doing stories over there. So come follow me over there and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>